Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome to the stage the managing editor of KDB Review, Andrew Davis. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, and welcome to the KBB Review Awards 2012. Thank you. Keep... Feel free to whoop whenever necessary. Thanks. Thanks, Mum. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'm uh, very proud to say that this is the 18th birthday for these awards, uh, and we're as proud of it as uh, we've ever been. Now, the last few years haven't been easy for this industry, of course, but we're still here rewarding and highlighting the very best retail and design this sector has to offer. Now, 2011 was a very tough year for many, and I'm sure everyone here is grateful to be through to March 2012. And that means, of course, that we're already nearly halfway through the Bath Store January sale. <laughs> it's... Um... Uh, thank you. Keep that up. There's... Uh, it's uh, been a really interesting year for this industry, and uh, as I say, we have to be honest and admit the market is still struggling a bit. In the last 12 months, there's been more pre-packs than the ready meals aisle at Waitrose, and uh, the biggest public blow is probably the demise of home form. But that, combined with uh, other headlines about the likes of Focus, Habitat, and others, hasn't done the reputation of the sector any favours with the public. Like a male porn star getting paid by the hour, consumers are now holding on to their deposits for as long as possible. That's, that's the worst one, I promise. Uh, there's over 700 people here tonight, and that's a big cross-section of the industry uh, in the kind of numbers that mean it's still statistically very likely that before dessert is served, at least one person here will go bust. <laughs> oh, no, all I'm saying is that if you're thinking of buying drinks in rounds, you might want to credit check the people you're getting them for. <laughs> it, if you don't, you could spend six months chasing an administrator on the unlikely chance that you'll get back one G&T for every six you bought. So even though the growth of the market is closer to zero than Harry Redknapp's tax bill, tonight really is all about celebrating the very best this industry has to offer. So let's start my official thank yous as always. First up, I want to thank the judges for their time, expertise and patience. That's despite the fact that, as so many of you tell me, every year after two bottles of wine, we all know it's really fixed. I'm not saying that alcohol plays a significant part in this event, but by the end, many of you are more wasted than a down payment at Moburn. A quick, a quick thank you. It's never boring. I could make the speech boring if you want. A quick thank you also here to Rocker for kindly hosting the design category shortlisting at their great new gallery in London, so thanks to them. I, I thought that was one of the boring bits. I'd also like to thank our, all our sponsors, of course, without whom this event wouldn't be possible and I wouldn't have been able to pay off my crippling gambling debts. So thank you very much to them. Now, a quick housekeeping note. Uh, if you want to smoke, you need to go outside through the Warwick Street entrance, which is straight ahead out the doors at the back of the room. Uh, and if those smokers start fire, then that's the direction you need to run screaming in as well. Now, my next thank you is for the participation of everyone who entered and, of course, all the finalists here in the room tonight, all of whom are waiting nervously to find out who's won. Now, I'm not nervous, I already know who's won. And as a result, there's really no point in me actually being here if you think about it. <laughs> I could be up in my room right now watching EastEnders and just come down for the food. So, you know, my dedication to the job means I'm here. So congratulations in advance to the winners, commiserations to the finalists, who should never forget what an achievement it is to get this far. But don't worry if you're not taking home one of our famous trophies tonight. Like so many other things in this industry, you could probably get one cheaper on the internet. <laughs> applause, that's me. Now, speaking of online, as always, we've got new categories for this year, and they include the most fruitless no sales on the internet policy. We also have the overused marketing cliche of the year award. I'm really looking forward to that one. It's state of the art. Uh, and we were going to have a prize for the most poorly disguised cost-cutting exercise of the year, uh, but that category has decided to leave the awards to pursue their interests. Uh, it was an amicable, amicable decision. We wish it all the best. 
Now, for all our other categories, there aren't just shiny trophies up for grabs. I'm very pleased to say that, once again, all the design category finalists will receive a year's honorary membership of the Society of British Interior Design. Now, that re it really is an excellent organisation and has very high membership standards. To qualify, you have to score 76 or above for the wow factor. But that's not all. For the first time this year, the winners of the four principal business categories of showroom of the year and retail of the year will each win a year's advertising in kitchens, bedrooms and bathrooms magazine worth £20,000. Yeah. There goes my bonus. So we have 68 categories, 68 finalists across 17 categories. That panicked you, didn't it? 17 categories. And for them, it's the biggest night in the professional calendar. But I'm sure we'll all agree that there's really only one winner here tonight, and that's the Hilton Metropole. <laughs> now, here's, um, here's how tonight works. We give out the design categories before dinner and the business ones afterwards. If you're lucky enough to win, please come to the stage as quickly as you can and get your trophy and pose for the photo in the middle of the stage we like to call the grip and grin. Then leave the stage to, the, uh, to your left, my right, where you'll be ushered off for a quick video interview outside. You probably saw the cameras who came in. Now, after the awards, you either have the choice of uh, dancing in here or heading to the casino. Uh, this year, the casino is, and gaming room is kindly sponsored by Samsung. And on your tables, you'll find... There's a Samsung table there. On your tables, you'll find envelopes full of Samsung cash. And the two people with the most fake money at the end of the night will win a couple of fantastic prizes. The first prize is a DVD of the musical Greece. The second prize is the country of Greece. Uh, that's, that's, that's the last one, I promise. I promise you that's the last one. Uh, no, really, the first prize is a Samsung G Series refrigerator, and the second prize is a Samsung Eco Bubble washing machine. So thank you to Samsung for that. So, Eco Bubble washing machine, come on. So let's get on with it. We have a lot of awards to give out tonight. So uh, we do ask for your appreciation for the finalists and winners right through to the end, no matter how far off that seems right now. Uh, have a great night. Good luck to everyone. We've got a fantastic host who, it turns out, is the most well-researched kitchen and bathroom host we've ever had, it turns out. So I'll see you after dinner. Thank you very much. Thank you.